Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our second lesson on the topic SAD, whereby we are looking at our example number three. So it reads that given that the value of A is given by a 1 over root 3, then B is root 13, express 2 plus root 3 minus 6 root 39 in terms of A and B, and simplify the answer. So it's a question worth uh, 3 marks. So the first step, uh, we are supposed to simplify uh, 2, uh, the root of uh, 3, then minus 6, the root of uh, 39. Therefore, we are going to try to express this particular given number in terms of uh, root 3 and also the root of 13. So uh, we were given that uh, A is equal to 1 divided by uh, the root of 3. Therefore, because I have root 3 here, I'll make root 3 to be subject of the formula. So I'll make this one a fraction, then I cross multiply. So a times root 3, I'm going to get a the root of uh, 3, which is equals to 1 times 1, I'm going to get 1. Then I divide through by a, I also divide through by a. So it means that for this case, uh, the root of 3 uh, will be the same as saying uh, 1 divided by a. Then, of course, I'm already given the value of b. I'm told that b is equal to the root of uh, 13. Therefore, I'll express the given equation in terms of root 3 and also the root of 13. So I'll start by checking the factors of uh, 39. So the factors of 39, so we can start with uh, 3, 3 into 39, uh, that is uh, 13 times. Then, of course, 13 into 13, that is 1 time. So it means 39 can be written as 3 multiplied by 13. Therefore, uh, it means this particular equation uh, can be rewritten as uh, 2, the root of uh, 3, then minus 6, the root of uh, 39, can actually be rewritten as uh, 2, the root of uh, 3, then minus 6. So 39 is the same as saying uh, the root of, the root of uh, 3 multiplied by 13. So this can be rewritten as 2 the root of uh, 3 then minus 6 the root of 3 uh, then multiplied by the root of 13. Then of course after that uh, we need now to substitute uh, the values that we have that is the value of uh, root 3 and also the root of 13. So it means that our 2 uh, the root of 3 then minus 6 uh, root 3 uh, then root 13 uh, will actually be given by uh, 2. The root of 3 uh, is equal to 1 over a. So this will be into bracket uh, 1 over a. Then uh, minus. So this is 1 over a. Then we are going to subtract uh, 1 over a. Then uh, minus 6. The root of 3 is still 1 over a. Then we multiply it by uh, the root of 13 is actually equal to uh, b. So this one uh, is b. So this will be uh, 2 divided by a, then minus 6 times 1 times b, I'm going to get 6b. Then of course the whole thing is uh, divided by a. So we are told to express in terms of uh, a and b, then after that we are supposed to simplify the answer. So you can see uh, these numbers have a common denominator, therefore I'm going to find the LCM. So the LCM will be A, A into A one time, so this will be 2, uh, then A into A one time, 1 times negative 6B, I'm going to get negative uh, 6B. So to simplify it, this one will be uh, 2, uh, then minus uh, 6B, then divided by A, but we can see on the numerator we can still uh, simplify it because 2 is common, so I can factor out 2 so that I have 2 into into 2 uh, one time then minus 6b divided by 2 I'm going to get uh, 3b then uh, divided by the whole thing divided by a so this one cannot be uh, simplified uh, beyond this point therefore this is our simplified answer then we look at our example number 4 which reads that uh, simplify 3 over root 5 minus 2 plus 1 over root 5 leaving your answer in the form a plus b root c where a, b, and c are rational numbers, then you are expected to state the values of a, b, and c. So to solve this, we are going to start by uh, rationalizing uh, the first part that we are given, which is 3, uh, then divided by the root of 5, then uh, minus 2. 
So of course the conjugate will be the addition of this particular uh, denominator which is the root of uh, 5 then plus 2. Then you also multiply the numerator with the conjugate which is root 5 uh, then plus 2. So if I simplify the numerator 3 multiplied by root 5 I'll get 3 uh, to the root of uh, 5 then plus 3 multiplied by 2 I'm going to get positive 6 divided by on the denominator I'm going to use the property of difference of two squares so this will be uh, the root of 5 uh, squared then minus uh, 2 squared so this will be uh, 3 root 5 uh, then plus 6 then the whole thing divided by uh, the square root and the square will cancel out so it remain with 5 then minus 2 squared is going to give me positive 4 so this will be a uh, 3 root 5 uh, then plus 6 then the whole thing divided by 1 which is the same as saying 3 root 5 uh, 3 to the root of 5 then uh, plus uh, 6 so uh, this part has given me uh, the first part is giving me uh, my solution as uh, 3 root 5 3 to the root of 5 then plus uh, 6 then we move to the second part so the second part we also need to rationalize this so we have 1 then divided by the root of 5 so of course the conjugate will just be root 5 so we'll multiply through uh, by the conjugate the conjugate is root 5 we also multiply the numerator with the uh, conjugate so 1 times root 5 you'll get root 5 then divided by uh, root 5 root 5 is the same as saying the root of uh, 5 multiplied by 5 which will be the root of 5 then divided by uh, 5 times 5 you'll get uh, 25 so it means this is going to uh, give us the root of 5 divided by the square root of 25 but we know the square root of 25 is 5 so this will be the root of 5 then divided by the square root of 25 is 5 then after that we are going to combine uh, all the numbers it was the solution of this plus the solution of the second part the solution of the first part was uh, 3 uh, to the root of 5 then plus 6 so this was the solution for the first part then we were adding from the question the solution of 1 over root 5 so its solution is uh, root 5 uh, that is when it's rationalized it is root 5 then divided by uh, 5 so we are told to express in the form a plus b to the root of 5 therefore I need to collect any uh, like terms so I can uh, make all these values to be fractions so divided by 1 divided by 1 then I simply find the uh, common LCM so the LCM will be 5 so 1 into 5 5 times 5 times 3 root 5 5 times 3 I'm going to get a positive 15 uh, to the root of 5 then 1 into 5 5 times 5 by 6 I'm going to get a positive 30 5 into 5 1 1 times root 5 I'll simply get the root of uh, 5 then we have uh, common factors on the numerator that is a uh, 15 root 5 and a uh, 15 that is the root of 5 so if you take 15 uh, root 5 then you add root 5 I uh, remember here the coefficient is 1 so you'll just take 15 plus 1 which will give you 16 to the root of 5 so this will be uh, 16 to the root of uh, 5 then plus 30 then of course the whole thing is uh, divided by 5 which can be simplified as uh, 16 root 5 then of course divided by 5 then plus uh, 30 divided by 5 so of course 5 here 1 5 into 30 6 times so this one can be written as we can start with 6 so it will be 6 then plus uh, 16 over 5 then to the root of uh, 5 so it is exactly in the form a plus uh, b uh, plus b to the root of uh, c then you are told to state the values of the rational uh, numbers a b and c therefore by direct comparison you can see that the value of a will be positive 6 the value of b uh, will be uh, b will give us 16 divided by 5 then the value of c uh, will be 5 so c will be equal to 5 then we look at our um, fifth example uh, which reads that uh, simplify this so for this particular case uh, whenever you have a root without the bracket it means the root is only applied, applying for the 
first part. So this is the same as saying the root of 11, then divided by the root of 11, then minus root 7. But remember, if there were bracket, if it was the root of uh, into bracket uh, 11, then minus root 7, then this one will be, it will be uh, the root of, it will mean that it, we, are, we are having the root of 11, then minus the root of, uh, the root of uh, 7. But when there are no brackets, it simply means that the root only stands for the first value, which is actually 11. So this one was just a trick uh, in a given KCC uh, question that uh, they wanted students to be aware of. So this one means the root is only applying for the 11. So this will be root 11. So this larger root is only for 11, then minus the root of uh, 7. So the conjugate, the conjugate will be the addition. Uh, so the conjugate will be uh, root 11, the root of 11, then plus root 7. Root 11 plus root 7. We also multiply the numerator with the conjugate, root 11 plus uh, the root of 7. So which is going to give us, uh, so this will be uh, the root of 11 times 11, 11 by 11, then uh, plus root 11 by root 7 will be the root of 11 times 7, then divided by uh, the denominator is um, a difference of two squares. Therefore, I'll apply uh, the principle. So I'll take 11 uh, squared, then minus the root of 7 squared. So this one is going to give me uh, the root of 121, that is 11 by 11, then plus the root of 11 by 7, I'm going to get 77 then divided by uh, the square root and the square will cancel out. So I remain with 11 minus uh, the square root and the square will cancel out. So this will be uh, 7. So um, if I complete this part, it means uh, I'm going to have the following. We know that the square root of 121 is 11. So this will be 11, then plus uh, the root of 77, then uh, divided by uh, 11 minus 7 will get positive 4. So you can leave your answer this way or you can also leave it as 11 over 4 then plus uh, a quarter, a quarter the root of 77. So this is our answer. In our next classes we'll be looking at further examples. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy.